it's your turn to take out the nuclear waste. Oh man, I don't even know where to put it. Hey there friends, welcome to DNews and thanks for tuning in, I'm Trace. Nuclear energy is controversial to say the least. Those who are for it say that it can provide relatively cheap, safe and clean energy. Those against it point to expensive plants and fuel, plus the storage of the spent waste. Then when accidents do happen, they're visible, devastating and deadly, so nuclear's got a lot going on. Regardless of whether you're for or against it, everyone can agree Nuclear waste is a troubling issue. Recently, at the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant, or WIP, in New Mexico, a radiation alarm went off. Someone screwed up. 15 years ago, WIP became the first and only permanent geologic nuclear waste storage facility in the country. But now, The Verge is reporting substandard kitty litter might bring the whole place down. Back in February, part of the place had to be shut down, the air vents were permanently blocked with high-density expanding foam, and people were evacuated. The problem was kitty litter. Someone packed nuclear material in organic kitty litter, which is made of wheat or corn, rather than the inorganic type that they almost always use. That tiny change caused one of the waste barrels to burst, releasing radiation and setting off alarms. I didn't realize they packed nuclear waste in kitty litter. That's pretty weird. When you hear nuclear waste, you probably picture a soupy, glowing green liquid like you see in The Simpsons or Futurama. In real life, nuclear waste can be any number of things, from tools and parts from nuclear plants to spent uranium fuel rods or pellets. Seriously, after too many wearings, even the uniforms they wear in the plant are put into nuclear waste barrels. According to the Department of Energy, the United States has 75,000 metric tons of spent nuclear fuel. The waste is stored at 122 temporary sites in 39 different states, but only WIP is and maybe was the only permanent site in history. So since we're obviously not throwing it at the sun, what the heck are we doing with this stuff? Well, there are ways to reprocess the radioactive spent fuel rods to remove plutonium for use in warheads, but due to fears about nuclear weapons proliferation, nobody really wants to do this. Another thing is to burn the waste in fast neutron or traveling wave nuclear reactors. They're different kinds of plants that create energy from the remaining atoms and further reduces the final waste product. But there's still that kicker. <laughs> there's a lot of nuclear waste still at the end of the line. No matter what we do, our best option right now is called deep geological disposal. Basically, we're burying it. Though even how to do that is debated. At the moment, WIP is the best plan, but others include drilling almost two miles into the earth and leaving the stuff down there forever. And there's also an option to put it into shale or salt mines. WIP is a dry salt bin, after all. They dig down like a mine and they dig out areas that they can keep those barrels of nuclear material in for the next um, tens of thousands of years. So which do scientists prefer? They don't know. They're not actually sure. Most are concerned with groundwater contamination, earthquakes, cave-ins, and other problems with underground excavation. At the moment, there are a few places where the conditions are just right, and they're not concerned about these things. But considering we've got 104 nuclear reactors generating waste in the U.S. alone, the problem is mounting. So what would you do with nuclear waste? Contaminate the comments with your thoughts and subscribe for more D-News every day.